hey folks this could very well be another our guitar video because I am on my way to meet someone uh, about a guitar that I found on the used marketplace I've been keeping an eye on cool looking dreadnought guitars that are not too expensive um, I'm playing uh, a couple campfire gigs or gigs that I wouldn't necessarily need uh, or want my high-end uh, Martin guitar uh, but I do miss having a dreadnought at those gigs so I would bring my Gibson L00 but that's a nice guitar it's probably too nice for a campfire gig but I do miss a bit of the beef from the dreadnought so I want a cheap dreadnought that I can travel with uh, easily and that I can uh, bring to uh, you know gigs that aren't um, in terms of sound the best uh, places to play but they are fun I do love campfire gigs so Dreadnought, Campfire, let's check it out. We all have lost the song to the burning fire. Guitar case turned over by the storm. I obviously got the guitar which is super nice it is a 80s Korean built Segovia this would have been after the lawsuit era so they were not per se copying one single guitar in the 80s uh, this guitar has a little bit of everything the body shape and looks remind me a bit of a J45 Gibson and you can also see a bit of Gibson influence in the headstock but there's all sorts of stuff uh, on it that reminds me more of Martin guitars, uh, the bridge, um, the diamond inlays. Um, so yeah, it's it's a bit of everything and it's just a really, I think, a really cool looking guitar. It has funky little details, the um, tuners don't match, it's a mix and match of whatever uh, they could find to uh, to get this thing tuned up there is a piezo under the saddle pickup installed and it's got the funkiest looking tone and volume knobs that i've ever seen but i i think it it works on this guitar so i'm playing it here uh, in the back of my car on the way back from picking it up but i am going to uh, go to the studio and uh, clean this guitar up put some new strings on it and then uh, get a proper sound sample with uh, a good microphone so let's do that I'm back in the studio and I cleaned this guitar up a little bit. I put some uh, coconut oil on the fretboard as I like to do and I put a new set of strings on it. I currently have it strung up with uh, a 012 set which I think um, suits this guitar nicely. It's not too heavy and gives it a full sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
couple things that are interesting about this guitar. To me, it plays really well, really easily. It's got this um, fretboard radius that is a bit uh, rounder, a bit uh, smaller radius than I uh, am used to. Um, I don't know exactly what that does to the playability. Um, I think it makes it easier to play uh, bar chords. And in terms of sound, I think this is a really nice, you know, 80s uh, mellow mahogany box. Um, maybe based on the looks and age, I was hoping for a bit more of a, um, yeah, Mojo J45 sound. Um, this guitar is really not loud. It's not um, dirty. It is super clean. It is super balanced. So... Um, yeah, you could it could go either way what you think about that, but I really think it's it's really a balanced guitar. Um, none of the lows, mids and highs are in the way or out of the way really. It's just a really fun guitar. Nineteen eighties Korea built Segovia dreadnought guitar to bring on campfire gigs or just to keep in the studio and uh, record some uh, you know jazzy stuff with. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you like these videos and uh, let me know what you think of this guitar. See you next time. Bye.